Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here, okay? I'm gonna be using my brand new deck, Midnight Mystique, that I recently just created, okay? Um, yeah, as you can see, this is a gorgeous, mesmerizing deck with detailed imagery of kind of like a gothic, um, which if you will, in like, you know, different forms in a dark haunted mansion okay um yeah i i really love the aesthetic of this deck i know a lot of people are into the whole like witchy gothic type of vibe here um i was inspired by this other tarot deck that i use a lot uh which is this one okay i'm probably gonna incorporate this in my readings a lot more i was obsessed with it yeah the dark mansion tarot um yeah except you know this is something that i made myself it will be available for sale on my website the link to that will be in the description box below and yeah uh without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the reading okay so we got the king of cups i'm getting some water sign energy cancer pisces scorpio especially pisces scorpio um you know your person definitely sees you as someone who they want to commit to like they know that you are wifey material they know that you are husband material they know that you're someone that they can have a long-term connection with they know that you're someone that um you know cares a lot about people and i feel like this person is the same way as well like the both of you are pretty compassionate people which is something that you really like about this person you like the way that this person cared for you the way that they cared for people like you know they are in general like pretty caring nice people um i do feel like this person does care about um you know like people in general humanity like you know th this is like a good person i'm seeing like you're dealing with a good-hearted person maybe that hasn't always been the case in the past i feel like for the most part the people that you dated have been good maybe there are a couple of narcissists here and there but i'm not necessarily seeing that this person is okay um yeah you know i feel like your person loves the fact that you're very understanding kind sweet compassionate um i do feel like you know anytime the king of cups comes up this literally signifies that your person likes you, that there's feelings here, that they want to be loyal to you, that they want to commit to you, that they care about you a lot, that they feel like, you know, you are someone that is capable of, um, you know, transform, like alchemizing negative emotions to, you know, something positive. Like I I'm really seeing that, like you guys, this person and you, you have a psychic telepathic connection. I really feel like anytime you're able to rise above circumstances, let's say there's something that kind of upsets you and like, you know, you just don't react or like, you know, you react differently. Um, any sort of like little movements you're making in your life to enhance yourself, your person is feeling that. They're feeling your energy and that's making you very like attractive to them, okay? Like that that's literally magnetizing you to them, um, okay? And they love your compassion, how kind you were, like all the good that you've done for them for other people like it's never going to go to waste it's never going to go to waste even if you feel like it hasn't been reciprocated i'm definitely seeing that this person um you know they they really really appreciate you for that and i'm seeing that they want to make things up to you i'm seeing that they want to be able to you know give back the way that you gave back and again all the good that you do whether it's with this person or you know to this person to anyone else even if it doesn't come back like right then and there it will come back to you in one way shape or form obviously don't overextend yourself okay sometimes the king of cups can you know uh be too compassionate wear their heart on their sleeves so of course like you know try to strike a balance but yeah i'm definitely seeing that you know this person um and you you have deep emotions for each other and there's mutual respect here this person really wants to support you and nurture you know your well-being like the emotional well-being this person wants to be there for you emotionally love you unconditionally and hol holistically okay we also got the seven of wands the seven of wands represents you know um overcoming challenges and also timing like this person wants to come back when the timing is right this person sees you as someone who's resilient determined um you're someone who is courageous tenacious you know you just never give up you never back down they're very inspired by your ability to overcome you know obstacles the strength that you have i feel like you've opened up to them about certain things and they have a lot of like you know like again just admiration for everything that you are everything that you've done and made of yourself okay but this person you know wants to make sure that you know when when they come back okay because i really do feel like for a lot of you guys they are going to come back that they'll win that you know the both of you will win with each other like this is something that you know they care about a lot and they're very invested in and they're they want there to be victory and success the seven of wands is only engaging in something when you know the outcome is going to be in your favor okay i feel like you know the seven of wands like you know the both of you may face challenges together but because of your love for each other and the perseverance and determination you have you'll overcome them and emerge stronger than ever you're going to be that power couple you're going to be that it couple okay 
Um, again, they're very in awe of you. They're very mesmerized by you. They're smitten by you. And, you know, we also got the temperance here. The temper temperance, you know, obviously symbolizes balance, harmony, and moderation. This person sees you as someone who brings peace and equilibrium into their life. They admire your ability to find harmony, uh, you know, peace out of every situation. I feel like you're someone who, um, you know, this, this reminds me of that one, like, I guess like me, like keep calm and blah, blah, blah. You remember it, it was pretty big in like, I think like 2012 or like, you know, and like, oh gosh, that, that's when I was in high school. Like, um, in the beginning of like, I guess the 2010s, keep calm and, you know, just insert whatever, keep calm. And I think like the British version, version was keep calm and drink tea, right? Like, I, I feel like your person loves your nature. You're very like, um, maybe mild manner and maybe like the way that you speak something about your voice I feel like your person also really likes your voice and you know you just at the end of the day you just want peace you just want everyone to be happy you want to keep the peace I feel like you're the type of person who will like you know like yeah maybe you have a little bit of ego but you'll apologize you'll do the right thing at the end of the day and I feel like if there's something that happened there was some sort of conflict or strife in this relationship um, you know your person I feel like you know th they'll be able to get over it I feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, you're just like, oh, I don't know if this is going to happen. I don't know if they'll get over it. Um, I, you know, like maybe too much has happened, but we got the strength. So this connection is strong, you guys. Like I, de I definitely feel like, you know, this person um, has a lot of, you know, love for you. Their feelings for you are very, 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 very strong. Okay, they admire your strength, resilience, courage. They admire everything you are, the person that you are. Maybe you're someone who possesses a quiet strength and unwavering determination. I really feel like this person is very, uh, you know, again, smitten by the way that you do things, the way that you are, the person that you are. They can, like, feel your strength. I feel like the people that you meet, they know that you've overcome challenges. Because for a lot of you guys, you're, you're wise. You sound like prophets. You sound like philosophers, okay? And, like, people, like, you know... Th those types of people you can just tell they've been through it they've been through a lot but they've overcome it by their wisdom they've overcome it by the infinite intelligence of their mind they were able to challenge or you know channel that they were able to like you know really make something of themselves and they feel very like you know inspired by that um you know they, they feel like you're a prophet or philosopher you definitely should be you know maybe part-time or something like that because you know they just think you're so wise and you have a lot of depth and intellect um to the point where maybe it kind of like intimidated them like wow this person is like so like you know developed and they do so much with themselves you know or like you know in terms of personal development you work on yourself a lot right um i feel like you can handle anything life throws your way okay um and i feel like again the both of you will overcome any obstacles that come your way i feel like whatever obstacles uh you know that have come your way is just gonna make your love stronger if anything your bond is just gonna grow stronger as a result we got the page of swords yeah this person stalks you a lot you guys like they literally wake up in the middle of the night and look at pictures of you or look you up on social media stalk your instagram page or even if you're blocked like maybe they'll unblock you and like do that okay like i mean seriously this person like you live in their mind rent free they think about you a lot i don't know if you guys are into like you know um manifestation maybe for some of you guys if you listen to affirmation tapes or subliminals overnight that's exactly when they get these like hits of you they definitely dream about you a lot and, and in a very positive way um a lot of the times okay like they fantasize about you a lot they think you're super attractive um but yeah i mean like it's more than just that like obviously like, you know they think about you they think about what could have been they think about what you would have been doing together they think about you know what you're up to what you're doing in your life they're very curious about your life i feel like this person is very like you know um taken aback by you they like the way that you live life they think you're a very interesting person you have a lot to you okay um yeah this person also sees you as someone who stimulates their mind and challenges their perceptions i feel like you know uh you had very intellectually stimulating conversations with them they admire your wit and int intelligence the way that you speak um they enjoy talking to you they enjoy hearing about your stories and your life and everything that they do um i definitely feel like you know Maybe you were, you were the one that talked a lot in this connection. Maybe like, you know, this person, like, you know, they just love listening to you, like whatever it may be. Even if you're just talking about like the randomest things, they love listening to you. They love like the, you know, spark that you get in your eyes when you talk. Um, I feel like they feel like you're, you're a very sharp person and you have this like ability to keep them on their toes. Like there's never a dull moment with you. Um, and I'm in terms of like where the connection is headed, I'm seeing that um, communication will play a key role in your relationship. I feel like maybe communication hasn't really been the best so far, but it will improve massively and you'll continue and inspire each other intellectually as you navigate your journey individually and together. 
Next, we have the lover's card. You know, this represents deep soul connections, okay? You and your person, I feel like, could be in some sort of twin flame connection, or if you don't believe in that, you know, just some sort of soulmate connection that you don't necessarily feel with just anyone and everyone, okay? Technically, anyone can be your soulmate, but um, there's certain people that, you know, you just feel their energy stronger than others. They see you as their soulmate or significant other. They feel a very strong and emotional, uh, a strong emotional and spiritual bond with you. I'm also seeing maybe someone here could have like water or earth placements in their big three, um, especially their moon or Venus. Um, I feel like they, they're going to express their feelings for you at some point and their desire to build a future together with you. I feel like they do want a deep and meaningful relationship with you filled with love, mutual respect, and a shared vision for the future, okay? Um, with the high priestess, they think you're someone who's highly intellectual. They think you have a lot to you, a lot of, like, you just have this amazing personality. Uh, you possess this uh, wisdom, like, intuition, um, you know, just the way that, like, no one else does. Like, I mean, no, they, they've never met anyone as deep and spiritual and intriguing and brilliant as you. They think you're some kind of genius, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys spend a lot of time like, expanding your mind, expanding your consciousness, reading up on maybe manifestation, neuroscience, neuroplasticity. You know, you spend your free time learning about like, you know, things <laughs> rather than just like wasting your time. Or maybe sometimes you do. That's okay. I mean, we all scroll on TikTok for hours, right? Um, but like, you know, you, you spend your time learning about... Um, you know, the world, the brain, uh, manifestation, the way that things work, like, you know, you'll look up certain things, you've looked a lot up about, like, spirituality, astrology, you know, esoteric concepts, okay, um, yeah, and maybe nature, okay, like, whatever your hobbies are, maybe you've looked up philosophers, poets, you know, books, like, you read a lot, maybe in your free time, or at least you make an effort too, okay, um, yeah, I, I feel like they're very fascinated by you, they think you're a little bit mysterious, I feel like you may be open, maybe you talk a lot, but they definitely feel like you're a little bit mysterious and there's more to you um it's like you know they, they try to read you but they can't exactly gauge where you're at like you know I, I feel like you just have so much to you you have layers to you you have like depth to you you're like a multifaceted person and they want to uncover the depths of their soul like their desire you know is to uncover the depths like the deepest trenches of your soul in terms of where the connection is headed, the high priestess suggests that there is still a lot to be revealed and discovered in your relationship. I feel like you barely just like, you know, got started or maybe this didn't really take off the way that you wish it did. And, you know, you will continue to explore the mysteries of life and love and this connection together. They want to explore more in this connection. There's so much unfinished business here. Um, okay, and then we got the fool. So I'm seeing there is a new beginning coming in here, okay? And they want to take a leap of faith towards you, towards this connection. They see you as someone who brings a sense of excitement and adventure into their life. Maybe you're someone who travels a lot. You're someone who expands themselves in whatever way they can. They admire your spontaneity and your willingness to embrace new experiences, um, you know, with an open heart. I'm also seeing, like, you know, they want to open their heart up more to this connection, okay? I, like literally envision this like green like glowing orb like in, you know in a heart shape and um yeah like you know they, they're opening up their heart chakra a lot more and you know they want to embark on new adventures with you they want to travel with you um you know you're you're gonna enter this new phase of a relationship you know something that you've never experienced before that's gonna be filled with endless possibilities and opportunity for growth and exploration okay because this person they're not over it they're not over you whatsoever. They, they don't want to be over you. Like, at this point, they're just like, no, I don't even, I don't, even, I don't even want to get over this. Like, the, you got the lovers here, okay? Like, I mean, seriously, they're, they're in love with you. They care about you a lot. And with this temperance, I feel like you're going to be able to overcome anything. You know, the temperance, clarifying the seven ones, you're going to be able to overcome anything that isn't serving this connection. And it's going to be better and stronger than ever, okay? Like, this person really genuinely cares about you as a person. It's not just, like, what you have to offer them. Like, they, it's not just the way that you like them. They like you for who you are, the person that you are. They see a lot of themselves in you, okay? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages we have here. Here we go. I can feel all the love you're sending me, and it's electrifying. If you're manifesting this person, it's definitely working. They definitely feel the energy that you're sending them. They feel at home with you, okay? They, they love, like, the feeling they get being with you. I feel like you make them feel really safe and secure. Or maybe, like, the both of you kind of have, like, similar tastes and, like, home. Maybe the both of you um, like, like, luxury living or, like, you know, high standard living or something along the lines of that. Uh, but I don't trust easily, but with you, I feel so safe and accepted. This person is working on getting over their trust issues because of the emotional baggage that they've been carrying from past relationships. But I feel like if there's anyone that will help them overcome this and transcend the obstacles, it's you. Okay. Um, anyways, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. You can buy my deck. Link in the description box below. Um, everything will be on my website, okay, including uh, tarot readings, I custom make subliminals, and I also have a guide on my Etsy that you can use to manifest a specific person, love, soulmate, love, really anything, and yeah, I'll end the video right here, thank you so much, love and light.